Right, here's a quick one for you. Another common question I get is, why are you wearing the hat sideways? Shouldn't the point of the hat be facing to the front? And the answer to that question is no. Thank you for watching and God save the king. I'm kidding, there's obviously a little more to it than that. To be more precise, the hat is indeed meant to be worn sideways and not straight on, because that was the military fashion of the time. Look at pretty much any painting depicting British soldiers during the late 18th century. Anything by Paul Sandby or Philip de Lauterborg, or the Menorca paintings by Giuseppe Chiesa, and you'll see that pretty much in all of them, whenever a soldier is shown wearing this style of hat, they always have it rotated slightly to the left so that the tip rests above the corner of the left eye. This is a well-documented practice and it can be observed not just among the British but among many other armies as well. The Americans are doing it, the French are doing it, even the Hessians are doing it. Basically with any army that wears this style of hat there's a good chance that most if not all of them are going to be wearing the hats like this. And this isn't just something that soldiers were doing on a whim either, at least in the case of the British Army. This was something that they were explicitly ordered to do. The Royal Clothing Warrant of 1768 says that the hats are to be cocked uniformly. Cuthbertson, as well, has several sections in his book entirely dedicated to cocked hats. Get used to hearing the name Cuthbertson on this channel, by the way, because it's got to come up a lot. From Chapter 12, Article 26 of his book. The cocking of a soldier's hat in a becoming manner, being a principal ornament to his appearance, should be very much attended to. The short, smart cock is certainly most adapted to a military manner, as it gives a sort of martial air, adds to his height, and always sits firm on his head. The next few articles of this chapter are much the same, with the next one even recommending that a piece of black linen tape be sewn to the inside of the front part of the lining of the hat, presumably either to make it impossible or at the very least uncomfortable to be worn with the front point facing straight ahead. Cuthbertson stresses that the hat is to be cocked neither too far to the left nor to the right, and that officers should be attentive in ensuring that all hats are to be cocked with as much exactness as possible. But why? Why was it such a big deal to have soldiers wearing their hats with the front point over the left eye rather than straight ahead? Well. I could tell you, but I think I'd rather just show you. So I have my musket here with me, and I'm just going to bring it up to the shoulder like I normally would. So as you can see, I am now carrying the musket at the shoulder. And take note of how the musket is sitting right now in relation to my head and to my body. Notice that I am trying to hold it as straight up and down as is possible without constraint. Now. I'm going to bring the musket back down to the order, and we'll see what happens when I turn the hat so that the front point is facing straight ahead, like so many people tell me it should be worn. So now I'm wearing it straight ahead, and already this just looks wrong. I am now going to attempt to shoulder the musket again. And right away, you might be able to see the issue. Notice that the musket is now touching the hat, and in fact, I may have bumped the hat a little bit with the piece while I was bringing it up. That's problematic for a number of reasons. First of all, do it enough times and you're liable to knock the thing clean off your head. Second, if I try to move my head from side to side, you'll notice that I can't really, at least not comfortably, which is a problem for me, especially as a sergeant, because I need to be able to turn my head in order to look down the line and see what the rest of the men are doing. But even for the rest of the rank and file, it's a problem because when we're marching in a line, you aren't always going to be marching with your eyes fixed straight ahead of you. It's good practice to constantly be checking your dressing, because if you don't, you're liable to just march way in front of everybody else, and then I have to come and I have to push you back into line. At the very least, you need to be able to turn your head enough to be able to keep an eye on what the guy to the right of you is doing. Because in most instances, you are going to be taking all of your cues from the person who is to the right of you. And it's when attempting to look to the right that this configuration really starts to become a problem. I can kind of look left, but I can't really look right at all, at least not without turning my entire body. So yeah, in summary, 
don't wear the hat with the tip facing forward. It just doesn't work. But why do so many people think that this is the proper way to wear the hat? Well, unfortunately, I think it's for the same reason why, for the longest time, most people thought that the Vikings all had horned helmets, and why they now all think that they all had man buns. Because that is how they are portrayed in popular media. Same situation with these hats. Look at any portrayal of redcoats in popular media. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Patriot, Turn, Outlander, that crappy Washington miniseries from last year. Heck, even Barry Lyndon. In all of those, they are all wearing their hats with the tip facing front because the costume designer evidently couldn't be bothered to look at literally any painting from the period. And apparently none of the extras at any point said, hmm, this doesn't feel right for some reason. And the end result of that is that people go their whole lives seeing the hats worn only in this way, so that when finally confronted with the hat being worn in its proper configuration, they go, hmm, this doesn't line up with my preconceived notion, so it must be wrong, even though it's the truth. I think that about covers it. I'm going to rotate the hat back to its proper place now because I can feel my soul diminishing the longer I keep it this way. <sighs> That's better. Anyway, hopefully that clears up a few things. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, God save the king.